Welcome to this Love Sub and Short. And if you guys checked out episode 84, we talked a lot about how you can safely hitch your RV. And one of the things we talked about was how to properly set up your breakaway switch, how to set it up properly to your vehicle, how to make sure it's in alignment. But then we had a concerned viewer comment. It was my dad and he has 20 years of RVing experience behind him. And he was saying that, yes, you have a brake controller, and yes, you showed how it works, but does it actually work? Is it actually gonna stop your vehicle? Right, we showed what happens when the pin gets pulled, but how do we know it actually activated the brakes? Yes. And so if you're familiar with RV brakes, at least ours, some of them are disc brakes, but ours are the old drum style, and when this pin gets pulled, it activates a current to an electromagnet, which activates that magnet, presses the, the shoes against the drum, and slows the brake. So with a compass, you should be able to, once I pull the pin, that needle should change because this compass, the, the uh, magnetic force obviously is greater at the wheel right. than it is in the earth at that point. So we should be able to see that compass move if my brakes are working. Right, should be interesting. So let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, Sid, you ready? Yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull the pin. And remember, you should only pull this momentarily. Never use it as a parking brake. Never leave it pulled because we're going to be heating those electromagnets with the voltage we're sending through. All right, ready? Yep. Fire in the hole. Oh, immediate. Look how it turned like that. Pretty cool. Okay. You do have needle moment. See how it swings back? That is awesome. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is just check to make sure the other side is working as well. Fire in the hole. There it goes. Point right side. All right. Well, I found that interesting. Yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so it was an easy way to test and see if your brakes were working. Yeah, and that's really important because yeah, you can test what we showed in episode 84, but I think this was a really good suggestion and thanks to Cindy's dad for the shout out and keeping it, us honest. Exactly, but remember, don't keep it unplugged very long. Right. Because that could damage your brakes. Absolutely. So if you like this episode, give us a big thumbs up. And click the subscribe. Did you know that only 23% of our viewers, according to YouTube, are subscribers? What's up with that? Right, exactly. So click the subscribe if you like our content. Comment below if you have any tips or tricks for your breakaway switch. We come out with RV and Airstream related content every Tuesday and the occasional Love Sub and Short. Thanks for watching.